61A lecture number 38. Announcements. The only thing left in this course is the final exam, which is 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Thursday the 15th. This page on the final exam describes everything you need to know. Where it is, in particular that your seating assignments will be emailed to you, and the exam materials. The exam is closed notes, just like all the rest of them, but now I'm going to allow you to bring two one-page front and back handwritten sheets of notes that you create yourself. Please do not share these notes with each other. Of course, you can talk about what you're putting on your sheet with other people, but you have to create your own sheet. We will provide for you the Midterm 1 study guide, the Midterm 2 study guide, and a final study guide that is currently in preparation. All of these will be attached to the back of your exam. You'll write answers on the exam itself. Of course, scratch paper will be provided. But you do need to bring your own writing implements and your Cal student ID. This exam covers everything in the course. That includes everything in the course textbook, except for these topics, most of which appeared in the extra lecture series instead. Please be careful. The textbook and lecture differ substantially in their descriptions of iterators, iterables, and streams. Just follow what I told you in lecture, as opposed to getting too worried about what it says in the textbook. People often ask me how to study. Well, it's a good idea to work through past exams and solutions. We have a whole page on study resources, and of course you can explore what Python does using Python Tutor. There are lots of questions on old labs that maybe you never got to. Now is a good time to go back through them and try to solve them without using the interpreter, instead just by reading the question and then writing down the solution by hand. So this exam covers all topics through lecture 36, that was this Monday. I'd say about half the exam typically tests midterm 2 content, so don't ignore the early parts of the course. We'd like to help you review. We're going to have a gorilla section this Sunday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. in 247 Quarry, mostly focused on content after midterm 2. These sections are a great way to find new problems and build some mastery of the material. In addition, next week we're going to have topical review sessions all week. Instead of having one big review session, if you go to next week, you'll see a bunch of topics and locations. So for example, you can learn about linked lists and trees, MapReduce, and recursion and tree recursion, all at the same time, 2 p.m. on Thursday the 8th. Now you might wonder, what if I want to go to two different topics? Well then just pick a different time for one of the topics. Recursion and tree recursion don't just appear here, they're also here, etc. And so, if you want to cover multiple topics, it's possible. You can just show up to different review sessions. The content for these topical review sessions will be posted so that you don't have to physically show up if you don't want to. But if you do show up, not only will the TA be there going through questions, but there will also be lab assistance on hand so that if you have individual questions about problems, you have multiple people there to ask. In addition, we will hold a limited amount of office hours next week from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Thursday in 109 Morgan of RRR week. We will hold office hours where you can come in with some question, um, maybe a past midterm question or a homework question or a lab question, whatever you want, and ask about it. Or if you want to just learn about a topic, someone there can give you a general overview of a topic and some guidance. And if that's not enough, there's an HKN-sponsored review session from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. on Thursday the 8th in 306 Soda. I would recommend preparing for the exam, which is why we provide all of these resources to you. The last thing I'd like you to do is complete three final online surveys. They're all short, so don't worry. In fact, you could do them all right now. If all three have 85% plus participation, 
then everyone who completes the final online survey gets a bonus point. You do have to be one of the people who contributed to the 85% in order to get a bonus point. No free riders. So what are these three different surveys? Well, one is the official course evaluation. That's due next Sunday. I haven't actually seen what this evaluation looks like, but I believe they ask you to just type in your TA's name. And if that's the case, please spell it correctly. Otherwise, your TA won't get the feedback that you provide. If you want to know how to spell your TA's name, you can look at the staff page, at which point we have correctly spelled names for all of the staff. So the university publishes this course evaluation. The final online survey is something created by me. This is your chance to give me direct feedback about how to improve the course. Please complete this survey by Thursday the 8th. The whole point of you completing this survey is so that we can improve the course in the future. However, this survey is not anonymous because I ask you for your Berkeley email address. All of the personal information that is asked for in the survey is totally optional, so if you don't feel comfortable, don't fill it out. If the whole survey makes you uncomfortable, you could just email me about it. That's fine. But there is a reason that I collect your email address. And that is because everybody has a chance to tell me whether anything weird happened during the course of the semester that might affect their grade. So, you enter your email address, and then you have a chance to make a last remark. 140 characters of whatever message you want to give me before I assign your final grade. And the way I grade people in this class is that I tally up all the points, but then I merge in these last remarks into a single spreadsheet, and I go down the list and I read each and every one of them just before assigning final grades. So if you thought something was unfair or you had some special circumstances, maybe special circumstances that you talked to me about already, please just mention it in this last remark so that I have a chance to remember that important information before I assign your grade. So I will collect your email address, but I'm not going to look at your individual responses for the rest of the survey, where I ask things like, what do you think of this course, and is it your first computer science course? Instead, I promise you that I will only use your email address in order to correlate responses from this survey with grades in the course. So I want to understand what's working well and what's working poorly for different groups of people in the course, and that means at some point I do use your email address in order to merge in your grades, but then I just only look at aggregate statistics. So figure out things like, oh, people who perform well in the class like this project, people who didn't perform as well like this other project, etc. Access to your individual responses to this survey will be tightly controlled. Only I have direct access. Nobody else gets to look at the individual responses. I may share some of the aggregate statistics with other faculty members. Even though I spent a lot of time talking about that online survey, it really doesn't take that long to complete. All of the free response questions are optional, so you could just go through and click all of the multiple choice and then be done. So that's two out of three, the official course evaluation, the final online survey. Once you've done those, the only thing left is to vote for your favorite scheme art. If you want to see the scheme art, you have to come to lecture. The gallery of scheme art will not be published until after the final live lecture is completed so that everybody gets to view the gallery for the first time at the same time. I also won't post the rest of the videos for today's lecture until after the final live lecture has completed as an additional small incentive for you to come show up in person so you can ooh and ah at your classmates' recursive art. Perhaps I'll see you there.